Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome so back here, and today I found a very interesting Luna Pocket Galaxy list that doesn't play a lot of the old normal win constant deck would play, which I think is really interesting. Normally, you have a slew of dragons, you have baristas, and things like that, but this one looks a little bit more interesting. Um, it feels more minion based with a couple big spells here and there, but Overall, it, it looks interesting, and I kind of wanted to try it. Apparently, this list has hit Legend, so good to know for that. The ETC, very basic ETC list. Um, yeah, there's just one thing. We are miss the, missing Ink Master Salia, so thankfully, it was the end of the season yesterday, so we get free dust. Um, so I can just craft her. The mean I've never actually had this card before, and this is, like, the first time I'm having it, which is pretty dope. Although, I am now poor, so I, uh, I have to go disenchant all my uh, extra bullshit that I'm uh, never going to use, that I just have extra golden copies of. Um, I thought I had the fancy versions of this card. Am I missing something? Oh, I guess that was a different card. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. Eventually, I do want to have all the cards, so I'm not too worried about not having that much dust. Uh, I have a whole bunch of other cards I can disenchant. Um, so, no no worries. Uh, I'll get the dust back eventually. The new set is coming out soon, so it is a little bit sad, but I have 4,200 gold. I have... 55 packs to open of the set uh or 100 sorry 155 packs of the set to open so i'm in no worry um yeah so how about let's queue up the first game though and let's see how the deck performs all right guys yeah with that being said i'll see you guys all there all right <sighs> I need to turn off my light. It is way too bright right now in the office. Um, and my voice command is not working, and it's it makes me ungodly angry the fact that this is not working. Um, it hasn't been working now for a while, and it's gonna make me scream. Um, I don't want to keep the Ink Master in hand, but I think this is the the best mall I can do. Keep Zephyrus small, the other two. All right. Oh, where's the Solia now? Uh, all right. <sighs> Finished work today. Burnt my knuckle on my licking finger. It fucking sucks. But what can you do? I got free beer to take home. <laughs> Uh, so with that being said, I hope you guys all have a beverage. I'm currently drinking me a nice cold brusque. I low rolled this 50-50 and I'm upset about it. Just too far off here. Put this here. Cover the name. Alrighty. This hand is looking mid at best. I have to use Zephyrus here to kill that weapon. I got a free turn to develop this. I do have Sticky Fingers in the deck, so if I do top deck Sticky Fingers, I could go Zephyrus more for board wipe. Which would be interesting. Um, yeah. I'm straight up not sure how this deck wins, though. Can you hit the 3-4 again? That is the question. Of course not. I can do this to eat his weapon, but it's it's only two power, so I'm not. He picked a non, um, minion. Or a non pirate. Uh, so pretty interesting. Oh, good card. Chips cannon. Oh. 
Oh, well, of course, that's what it gets. Yog is not really useful. Full cleave ain't bad. Given this plus two, plus three, and taunt ain't bad either. We go with this. Just hopefully high roll that one. This game fucking sucks. Which that's actually so bad that I low rolled that. I take six damage, I think, for free from that minion because I low rolled that hit. Fucking rough. This is a little matchup where Luna's Pocket Galaxy is just a dead fucking card. So, it, it's rough. Alright, let's see if he does a smart play and he trades his 2 2 into my 3 2. It's actually funny because I also fucking low rolled on my buff. If I would have buffed Zephyrus, I was in a much better position. That's so unfortunate. Uh, I should have actually shot the pirate. That's really bad on my part. Whoops. Should have shot the pirate. I I ran out the brand here because it's one of those cards that he kind of he's forced to kill it. So, if he doesn't, he risks dying to it to some form of shenanigans. So, in my hope right now is it's gonna eat a hit from both of his guys and save me six health, or a hit from his weapon. Or he's playing Eviscerate, so he's lucky. And then he does even the wrong trade. So, you know. You know how it be. Alright, well. Time to cast a whole bunch of free mage spells. I had to go for the spells to hopefully hit Ice Block and maybe kill this thing. Ooh. Like that. I'll take that. Beautiful. Yeah, that wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. Oh, and it counted for the finale? Oh, I'm good at this game. Let's go. Yeah. Well, we're in a decent position now. What would make me feel really safe would be a top deck of Reno. Just reset my health total. I'm back at 35. All of a sudden, I don't feel like there's an easy way for me to lose this game. Where right now, it still kind of feels like, you know, I'm in a position, but I don't necessarily win. So. Bro. Bro, what the fuck? Yeah, hopefully I fucking draw Reno. Bro, what the fuck is this? My opponent does this in one fucking turn. <sighs> oh, wow. Wait, does this... Okay, no. This deck does play... I thought this list that was not playing Ice Block, and I was very confused. But, I mean, you, you saw what he did. That That just... I don't think there's anything I can realistically do here to come anywhere close to winning. I have to draw exactly Dragon's Fury, wipe his board, next turn draw Reno, 
Or RNG a board wipe here and then draw Reno next turn. I don't see any way out. Because this doesn't even draw me... Oh, I guess I can play Ice Block if I draw Ice Block. I don't have... I have one spell left here. But I get procced at one, so it doesn't fucking matter, right? Nine... The reason that is actually really good for me. Oh, he procced me at seven. Interesting. When you draw perfectly, you draw perfectly, right? I really drew the last spell in my deck. Oh, there's still Blizzard. This is five mana wipe the board. I have to do this, right? Like, I don't think there's another out. Don't think there's another out besides this. I have all of my mana back. Interesting. Well, I don't have all my back. I just have everything get discounted. Oh, fuck. I don't have enough time. Uh, if I would have went for Reno, I would have. Oh no, I was still just exact sees. Huh. If this was a real Reno, like normal Reno, I had one there. It took me too long to figure out what the fuck to do on that turn, and I couldn't really think past it. That game we could have very, very well have won, just given a slightly better draw. Drawing Reno would have helped. Got, getting an actual board wipe off the puzzle box. Getting any form real healing off the puzzle box. More than just two armor. Something that put me above nine, I was probably fine. Um, but then it gives me another draw at Reno as well. And I could have countered the minion and then killed the next minion he played. So I wasn't dead to any minions. Or counter spell, kill a minion. Uh, there, there, It was super weird. Unfortunate, but what can you do? Anyways, uh, let's uh, queue up the next one and let's see how it goes. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure this is a uh, secret mage because... The odds of someone playing a cool deck like us, zero. But, hey. Should be fine. Um, Keep Reno, keep Objection. I don't think I'll be stealing any weapon from him. Except for a Saint Bad. Just playing secret mage. It's your secret or quest mage. Quest mage, I feel like we're slightly more favored against. Although it's not good, but we can beat them. Um well, this list doesn't have a rat. It only has this. I could save the objection for the turn I think he's going to attempt to go off. That might be best case. Um, if I can play it now, but he just plays, it, it counters some random minion. I guess it could counter something that gives him a coin, which would help give him less mana. 
force him to draw another spell that didn't start in his deck. Yeah, uh, yes, that's fine. I'm not a hundred. I'm not fully convinced. Like, oh, that is the right play. Um, I just have to hope he's bad at the deck and he picked card draw spells. Cause I smoke him if he's playing card draw spells. Yeah, I if he's pl if he RNGs a whole bunch of draw effects, I fucking smoke him. So pretty good. This is one of the matchups though where uh Ink Master is really good and Luna's is really good. I just don't know quite how I win. <laughs> That is one thing I'm not sure about this deck, is how the fuck to win. This is, his removal is going to probably end up lining up perfectly to deal with us, which really sucks. I wish there was an easier way to counter this quest. I do think that there should be a card that interacts with quest completion. Uh, either, like, removes one part, like, one spell. Or I guess it's not a spell, but it, like, resets the quest completion. It would make quests a lot worse. But I think it would be fine overall. Uh, I was about to say, oh, that's such an insane draw here. A good burn. He's going to burn two cards. And I was, or three cards, I was going to bounce the Lotheb. That was the best top deck in my deck. Alright, well, I'll take his concede. That's how you win. You just make your opponent concede and you win. Easy. Um. Anyways, yeah, with that being said, let's uh, queue up the next one and let's see how it goes. Alright, guys, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next game. All right. You don't pay for your I think I think I just smell like this, and it should be fine. Dealer. I don't want to keep this. Is this is a play on six, right? Fuck it. I want a meme. Okay. I want a meme, so I kept this. I also absolute man, I fucking love Kazakus. This card is so sick. So much fun to play. It would I would also love to just stop drawing all the biggest fucking minions in my decks so this way I can actually get value out of Lunas. But hey. We ain't that good at the game. Okay, I can coin out a two three. Their colon ain't bad. No, but if I coin out the 2-3, then I'm way too behind uh, for wanting to coin the sound on 6. What it looks like is I'm going to probably hero power here next turn. Do nothing else. Play, uh, This might be better on 3-4-5 if this doesn't kill it. Play this first. Did we draw a frost spell? Ooh, coin the sound on 4? Draw 6? That is actually a play. So if I eat this, if he has nothing else on board, I power on board to kill them. Fortunate. If I coin this out, if I coin this out, it's actually really good. Because the cards I'm discounting are really good to discount. It eats his entire board, unless he has a removal spell in hand, but I can go Titan next turn, which would be pretty good, especially if he ends up trading all this shit in. We go Titan... Deal five damage to whatever he plays. Is he leaving the Thorsen up? Oh, okay, no. So say if he's leaving the Thorsen up, I instantly win, I feel. Discounting my whole hand twice. <laughs> Kinda wanna steal this. I think this is slightly better than 
Forces him to take damage now from his shit. I play this next turn guaranteed. And then I do Tortolan, hopefully hit, uh... What the fuck is this? Discover minion from your deck, summon a tentacle with its stats and... Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Hopefully hit... Lunas. I mean, like, like what are the spells I can hit, right? So, I have... Objection, Ice Block... Potion. Potion wouldn't be the worst. I have this, which will draw me a whole bunch of one-cost creatures if I hit Puzzle Box. That'd be pretty darn good. Also, now all the minions in my deck are huge, right? What is Yogg? Like a fucking 14, 5, 10? 14, 10, yeah. Eat there, eat there. The turtle. Oh, one less spell in my deck. No puzzle box. Oh, I hit ice block? I'm okay with that. Why can't I play this, but I can't play it? Uh, did I hit two of those? Explosive, mana bind, ice block. God, these spells were awful. The spells I hit were fucking abysmal. That is so unfortunate. And a whole bunch of secrets. I hit four mana secrets. Where was it? Yeah, ring toss. I legitimately just hit a four mana secret. That's so unfortunate. You doing this? Maybe play some here and I get to eat it for free. That'd be pretty dope. I burned a card. Hopefully it's not Reno. Hopefully I don't eat Reno. I'll probably end up eating Reno, but I know how it'd be. Oh, it's such a good raise that hit for him. Yeah, that's actually a really good one for me. Um, Alright, let's start with this. I burnt Zephyrus? Oh, I those are overdraw. If your other card makes you draw cards, I would have played that very differently. I remember. I just threw away cards for no reason, really. Portals know nothing. I guess I just take this. Alright. Fortunate. But only seven? Make his spells cost one more. I think that's fine. Because he wasn't able to wipe my board beforehand. So now I feel like he's going to have a hard time wiping my board now. Oh, he had the fucking hysteria? Are you serious? Fuck, that's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. I was supposed to say, because if I dealt 10 and then I had Pyroblast to deal 10 more, like, I was in a really good position. Do I even have two elementals? Like, is there any point in me creating this? 
think I have two. I also low rolled that so fucking hard. Press seven three is pretty good. Deal eight. Right now, the big thing I'm seeing is like I just have a lot of burn in hand. Ten from Pyro. Eight from the Kazakus potion. So I just have to outrace him now. Oh, M. Thorasan is really fucking good. It's counting everything by one. I have 12 damage now, burst from hand. It's pretty good. True, he raised dead that. That's really unfortunate for me. I hit the th bruh are you fucking serious this killed at least these two this wiped everything this wiped every like bruh I don't think I could be getting more unlucky straight up I don't think it'd be possible Three, five, hero power, this. Okay. Right now, my whole goal is to try and slow him down to a point where I'm able to burn him out of the game. Okay, that's fine. I don't have a master spell in my deck. No, what do I do? That's an interesting hit. Very interesting draw here. Let's just... Let's just fucking send it, eh? And jack something. No. Of course that means to attack each other. That's a good hit. An unfortunate hit. That's... Obviously, it could be worse. Uh, I'm one damage off lethal now. Uh, if he would have burnt Reno, I would have felt really, really good. But my guess is he still has Reno in his deck. Plus Reno. What's in my ETC? Dragon's Breath? Dragon Breath only has a 10 and a 4 to hit. So I play- oh, it also still has a 3. But it's just gonna hit the 3 again, so there's no point in doing that. What does this give me? So. Guess I'll count on the next minion he plays. I'll get Dragon's Breath for next turn, just in case. I think it's the best choice out of these. Just send that to there. 
Let's see if he plays the Reno and he's expecting the RNG Pyro. We had it. Oh, that's looks like. Oh, that's not Reno. That ain't Reno. That that ain't Reno. That's good for me. Oh. Oh, get absolutely shit on. Oh, get shit on. Oh, I'm good at the game. That's how the deck wins. Fucking RNG a Pyroblast and banish him to the fucking Shadow Realm. God, I'm good at this game. Also, for those who are wondering, yes, I never hit Legend last season. Uh, taking a break for two weeks really from the game kind of hinders your ability to climb ranks. Um... Yeah, I, I basically decided not to play any extra Hearthstone besides in videos last week. Or last month, really, for like the last two, three weeks. It was very good, because now that I'm back to playing the game, like I'm, I'm much more involved, I feel, in the game. Um, I think it's better overall. Hey, look, it's the deck I wanted to play, until I realized that there's no real win con in this fucking deck. It's supposed to be a heal OTK combo. If you guys have a list for a, a heal OTK combo... Uh, feel free to send it, because I do want to play a deck, but I felt like this list just was pretty bad, like, you know. I feel like there's just better shit you could be playing, and yet, I don't know, it's, it's weird. Because, so, it's, it's like weird, because the old combos were playing, like, all, uh, not this one, but, Playing, like, all the big heal spells. And I f swear there were more than what's in this deck. Or there was ways to, like, double your healing or something that I just can't think of. Because, as of right now, like... Unless you have, like, Void Touch. Like, the deck doesn't look like it does anything, really. And it's, like, a million mana. There's no, there's no even creatures to reduce the cost, right? At least if the deck had, like, Radiant, like... These were zero, these are zero, these are zero, these are zero. But there, there's none of that. So I don't know how it wins. There's not even, like, these shadow visions to copy it. it, it it's just really, really weird. Anyways, though. Um, the, this, 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 this Reno Mage. Deck is pretty fun. Uh, I, I really like the Reno Mage archetype. It's my favorite mage archetype. Um, and honestly... Ink Master felt kind of good. Uh, not gonna lie. I, I, I fucks with it. Uh, would this deck... This deck could probably hit Legend. Uh, depending on a lot of other factors, but... This deck feels pretty solid. Uh, I would recommend you guys giving it a try if you guys have not. So, um... Yeah. Anyways, with that being said... Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, I'm going to go play some Super Mario Wonder, and I'm going to see you guys all in the next one. All right, guys? Yeah. That being said, I'll see you guys all there. Peace.